Here's an example of what you can do with Ansible. I have three terminal windows open. Each one is going to a Cisco 3560 switch in my lab. As you can see, each one has a different host name. Rich Router, Router 88, and Mike's Router. I want to give you just a, uh, a glimpse into what Ansible can do here. What I'm going to do is actually run a playbook that is going to change the host name on all three of these devices at the same time. And it's going to change all three of them to a unique host name. Uh, I have set up a file previously for each router and specified a variable uh, of a new host name. So I'm going to open a, a fourth terminal window here and that's the one I'm going to use to run my Ansible commands in. I have Ansible installed on my MacBook. Alright, so I'm just going to change directory over to my Ansible directory. And I'm going to run a playbook that I have previously created called Test2. And I want to show you what happens on all three of these devices after I run that playbook. So it's pretty simple. The, the command for running a playbook is ansible-playbook. Do dash i for the inventory. I have uh, these three IP addresses in a host file. And so that's the one I'm going to use for my inventory. So let's go ahead and run this test2 playbook. All right. So Ansible is obtaining the login credentials. It's running a show run command on all three devices. It is now assigning the new host names. And it's all done. So at the bottom there in the play recap, you can see that it did change on all three devices. Okay, now let's go ahead and just hit enter on each one of these devices and you can see the host name has changed. Alright, there you go. That's a pretty powerful example of what Ansible can do.